What's going on, guys? Austin here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the extra points, week six, five minute fantasies, booming and busting tight ends. So, my start of the week is finally, it's going to be George Kittle. It's the breakout game for George. I think that the Falcons are going to be able to keep this game just a little bit more close than the 49ers would like, which is going to lead to a lot of running opportunities. So, George Kittle is going to be on the field blocking more, but the more that George Kittle's on the field, the more that he's going to be able to have opportunities for receptions. Now, Atlanta has no good defense for tight ends, and especially considering they just traded away, uh, you know, one of their, it's not saying much, but one of their higher end linebackers to the Browns. George Kittle, you know, should be in for a relatively good game this week. It's going to be something like, I could see like six receptions for, you know, like 90 some yards, maybe even a touchdown in there. Evan Ingram against Indianapolis. Indianapolis does not have a great, uh, they don't have a great tight end defense, uh, especially with Shaquille Leonard being the run stopper that he is. I could imagine that, uh, you know, they're going to end up doing a lot of more short game passing than you'd expect. Jacksonville is going to want to keep Trevor Lawrence, you know, a little bit more protected. So the short game is going to be king right here, which is why I have, you know, a Travis Etienne starting. Uh, and I like, I like Evan Ingram in the same spot. Now, Will Disley versus Arizona. Uh, Arizona is horrendous at covering defenses or horrendous at covering tight ends. And Will Disley, whether you like Noah Fant or whoever you like, Will Disley is Geno Smith's preferred tight end in the room. He's been there the longest. Uh, and so Geno has been working with him, especially, you know, in the in the practice squad, is I guess what you'd say. Uh, you know, while last year Gerald Everett was working with the starters, Will Disley and Geno Smith would have been working together. Uh, same thing the year before. So he I'm not going to say he's a must start, but if you don't have a lot of great options at tight end, if you waited to draft a tight end later and you didn't end up with a great one, Will Disley is a good start right here. Now, Pat Frymuth versus Tampa Bay. This one's going to be a little bit more of a long shot, considering that Tampa Bay has a smothering defense. Uh, so Kenny Pickett might not have enough good looks, but uh, Tampa Bay is not great at covering tight ends. So there's a chance that Pat Frymuth is going to be the best target for Kenny Pickett, who did throw for a lot of yards against Buffalo. Uh, the only the only question is whether or not he's going to be able to stay on his feet, not get sacked, because Tampa Bay, uh, you know, as much as Buffalo has a great front seven, Tampa Bay has a better pass rush than Buffalo does. On the bus side, Tyler Conklin at Green Bay. Now, Tyler Conklin had an amazing start to the season. I don't think he's going to be able to keep that up, um, especially against Green Bay, who is just really good at every single level. They have quality starters uh, on defense at every single level. Tyler Conklin is not going to be part of the game plan. I think this one's going to be more of a Michael Carter, Brees Hall, uh, probably, probably Corey Davis game, but we'll see. Hayden Hurst at New Orleans. Uh, I don't like the matchup. Hayden Hurst. Uh, I mean, he had, he, he does have, he does have several quality games this year. He's not a high quality tight end. And because of that, I doubt that he's going to be able to, you know, pull one off against a, what I would consider an underperforming, but still very good defense in New Orleans, who's got, uh, you know, not only Tyron Matthew at safety, but also Cam Jordan, who he might need to block and chip against a lot. Kyle Pitts at San Francisco. It feels kind of redundant to say to sit Kyle Pitts, but I mean, Kyle Pitts had missed a week, then he came back. Now he's now he's back, rather. Um, it's not going to be a great place to start him. If you have another option, I'd go there, especially considering that San Francisco is probably the number one defense against tight ends. Uh, and then Hunter Henry at Cleveland. I, I went back and forth on this because Cleveland hasn't really played a great tight end yet this year. I mean, Cleveland has played Carolina. Cleveland has played, uh, you know, the Chargers. They did a pretty good job covering Gerald Everett, I guess. You know, that might be the best tight end. Um, that they've played so far this year, but they played Atlanta with the struggling Kyle Pitts and all these games, but they don't really have a super high quality uh, tight end to go up against on their record. And I think Hunter Henry is probably the best tight end that they're, that they will have played so far this year. Um, but that being said, it just doesn't feel like a, a pass heavy game. I feel like this is going to be a, a real heavy Ramondre Stevenson, Damian Harris, uh, if he ends up playing type of game. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay up to date on all of our future content.